All right, it's uh, <laughs> 1 30 in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I got my robe on and I got my hair all messed up and everything because I slept for a couple hours and got up and got to thinking I should let you know what's going on. I, when I left Great Falls at the motel there in Great Falls, the O'Hare um, Motor Inn, uh, I was. I was so tired and so ready to get out of there and get home. I left all my stuff there. I, I left my bag with all my sculpting tools. I left my battery charger for my die uh, for my GoPro camera. I left my cell phone. Anyway, they're they're sending it all back. I'm they they sent it out yesterday. I'm I don't know how soon I'll get it, but until I get it, I can't do anything and. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that's probably why I'm not going to be sculpting for a couple of days. Um, I did get something today. Let's see. I sent away or ordered some real small octagon shaped plastic tubes. And this one is almost perfectly the size of the gun uh, barrel that I'm going to be putting on the uh, 1866 Winchester that the uh, Warriors carrying. Uh, it had an octagon shaped uh, barrel on it, and I was trying to figure out how am I going to make an octagon shaped barrel. Well, I went online and did a little search for uh, rods in octagon shape because somebody <coughs> had mentioned that uh, you can purchase them. And uh, they gave me a website. I went to it, and I had to do a little searching, but then I finally found it. But I ordered about five different sizes because I had no clue what millimeters or centimeters are or, or whatever the small measurements are. Um, these are two sets here. They're, I got five uh, rods per package. They didn't cost a lot, so it wasn't like I was out a lot of money. Um, but... This one's a little bit bigger than this one, and that's the one I'm going to be using, this, this top one here. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, and I can't do anything with that even because I haven't got any sculpting tools. They're all in a bag or in a, in a container in the bag that I left in the motel. And the, the, the way I missed it was I put the bag like an idiot between my computer table in the room and the chest of drawers that uh, held the uh, flat screen TV. So when I looked back into the room to see if anything was left, that's where it is. And I couldn't see it. And I went off and left it like an idiot. So anyway, that's, that's probably the worst I've ever done. I've never, ever left my cell phone. And it's because I didn't wear my coat. I always stick my cell phone in my top Ziploc or zipper pocket and I didn't wear my coat, so I, I was sitting at breakfast that morning, getting ready to go, and I was thinking, where's my cell phone? Oh, and I thought, well, it's in the coat. Well, it wasn't. It was someplace in my room. I don't even know where the hell I had it. So anyway, um, stay tuned. <laughs> I'll be back <laughs> eventually. I'm also working. I, I found out that the link to my instructional videos in uh, the video description down below this video uh, was somehow corrupted uh, by YouTube. I don't know what it is. You, you make your, you, you go to your dashboard in your YouTube video setup and you have uh, everyday uploads that you need to have ready to go and that's one of them is is uh, a uh, description of purchasing my instructional videos and the link to a review of them well I had to go back and if you don't know that they've corrupted the link uh, you can't uh, you, you just well people will be hitting it it'll go to a page but it will be an empty page and I didn't find that out until last week when I think Monday or Tuesday someone mentioned that they went to my link and nothing came up. And uh, I've had that happen twice now in the last 
13 years and uh, it's aggravating because I don't know how many videos I've put up that doesn't have that operational link so I corrected that and that's another thing too I'm going to be re-editing all those reviews for streaming video instead of DVDs because I I just am cannot do DVDs anymore besides that DVDs are going are being phased out on computers and uh, they're getting very expensive and hard to find and uh, the labeling and everything like that connected with DVDs is going up in price and uh, it's just ridiculous I don't know why they would stop having DVDs anyway because memory sticks are nice but they cost a fortune but anyway that's neither here nor there all right until uh i get my tools stay tuned i'll be back good morning everybody i'm going back to bed <laughs>